right, quick follow up to the last video. Um, I'm popping out the Tomix uh, flat wagon. <laughs> and yes, the I beams are included. And I'm pleased to say they are metal. So I kind of expected them to be plastic, but uh, they are not. So that's cool. Um, actually, I really like that because I always like it when things are real and metal. And uh, that's awesome. Now, uh, according to this, uh, two strange things happen. So first of all, um, you get these like grids and <laughs> you're gonna have to pop out all these tiny little sticks so that they line up um, right there for you to make, you know, the, the sides so they don't, the, your eye beams don't roll off. The other odd thing about this is, I don't know what this is, like this little square. Is that like tape or something? Like, am I supposed to supply that? Because I didn't get anything uh, like that. There's nothing in the box. There's nothing here, nothing in the bags. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I could probably translate that and see what that is. Uh, but it's just weird that I guess you're supposed to like have transparent stickers or something and stick these down. I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of like them riding loose. Um, I think that would be pretty cool just to kind of slap in there and, uh, you know, it can change up however you like it, but I think it's going to look really good. Um, now I was playing with this too and I was trying to get these stupid things off and it's extremely difficult. Uh, but what I found out is if you stick it down here and you take a screwdriver, you can just come in here and go like that and they, in theory, pop out. Um, so that you can, you know, get them out of there without bending or breaking the actual stick. You get a ton of them. I don't think I need to use all of these, probably because they're expecting you to break them when you try to get them off the plastic uh, thing. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to put them together right now, and then we'll look at the finished product. <laughs> Be forewarned if you do it the method I did, because when I went to do the other side to pop you know, pop them off for real. The first one I did, um, if I can re recreate it, was over here, and it popped out way high, and like, I don't know where it ended up, but it could have easily like shot into my eye, so thank God it didn't, uh, but I have no idea where it ended up, because it just took off like a rocket ship, uh, so be really careful if you do get this and try to do it the way I did, because uh, that was kind of scary. And there you go, all in. Um, I had some extra bits as expected, so if anyone breaks off or I lose one, um, you know, I'll have some extra ones. It was a bit difficult trying to get these things in the little bitty holes, not all of them went in uh, exactly. You can see some of them, like they went right in the middle, um, didn't go in all the way. Some of them went in pretty smooth, but some of them, they were hard to jam in there. <laughs> Um, but now we're all good. I can pick up the metal light beams and just kind of plop them in. Boom, boom, boom. And there you go. That looks great. So cool. I have, you know, something unique and different now, as I'm always looking for. Woo. <laughs> and one of the reasons why I'm trying to upgrade is so that I can get better freight cars that roll better. Um, as you saw, this one is pretty, seems pretty good. So it's going to go in the pile and uh, into the normal uh, rotation of where I want to run for any given day. There you go. 